Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Monster Rancher 2. In the last episode, we trained Nick quite well, I, I feel. Uh, we got him 480 skill, almost up to 500, which... Uh, I'm not sure if that'll be enough now. <laughs> but Okay, 550. At 550, we'll send him to the S-Class tourney. And uh, after that... How much power and defense do you need? More than that. And <laughs> your intelligence and speed are still sitting at just one. That's incredible. So, I would like to send you to another Aaron tree just so you can get, like, moves that are actually accurate, but. Actually, Roll Assault. Co comparatively, Roll Assault is not too inaccurate, but still. I think I've hit more Earthquakes than Roll Assault. Okay, so. It's the fourth week. Uh, he's in tight. Don't need to give you an item this week. Uh, let's see. Make you do a heavy drill. I th think I feel like I want to uh, uh, max out your power. Well, I mean, not max out, but you know, get it higher before defense. I don't know why. Hmm. Why do I feel like I need to do that? Hmm. Regardless. So. Uh, Nick is Nick is a big monster. Jeez, but uh, okay, no, okay, okay, no, okay, okay. So, uh, oh, I wanted to say, uh, don't if you ever have any questions, uh, that you want me to answer and ask the audience, just put it down in the comments below. Uh, I'm not ending the video, but <laughs> it's just uh, I wanted to say that because uh, I'm not. Not entirely sure uh, if I if I made that clear because that's going to be the common question of the episode is somebody asking me a question and then I a ask I answer it and ask the question back. So of course at the end of this one I'm going to have to go back and find you know I should have it ready I should have the the common question ready before I start but uh, I'm not I'm not that. Uh, organized, unfortunately. So. Oh, right, I forgot. Nick just... Nick has like a 90 week long prime stage, I think. He started before then, so... I'm just gonna have to... wing it, I guess? When he's about six years old, I'll give him a golden... Pro uh, maybe a silver peach. Because in type. It's... <laughs> No, no, ah, uh. <laughs> no, 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 ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. I know you don't want to. Do oh, okay. <laughs> I know you don't want to do it, but apparently you are good at it. And I think I've said this before, but there's a difference between good being good at something and enjoying it. And uh, I think. <laughs> and. Apparently, in my case, there's a difference between being good at something and actually being able to pursue that as a as a lifelong, you know, career. So, what am I good at? <laughs> That's a good question. I uh, my skills include um, uh, sneezing in bright lights and being able to flare my nostrils. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's that's my personal skill set. Hooray! So, uh, let's see. Although, <laughs> yeah, okay, sure, I can, I can, I can raise a monster to the major four. A first generation monster, actually. Uh, not, not the major four to uh, the Hall of Fame. Hmm. Although, <laughs> it was only after I uh, started doing the let's play that I was able to do that. Uh, let's see. Wait, no? Yeah, I do have to give you something. Let's see. So, what should I do with you, Nick? I feel like I should definitely uh, max out your stats before I send you to the S-Class tourney. S-Class official cup. Although I feel like you have just enough skill now that you could probably go there. Oh well, I'll save it for the next episode, but for now I'll just... 
continue on training. Mm hmm. Uh, I, I guess I'll talk about myself. Uh, finally dropped off my resume at a couple places. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if they're going to call me back or not because uh, it wasn't an eh, it wasn't an it was not an interview. I guess I'll have to uh, quit using contractions for now. Uh, I dropped off my resume. I don't know if they'll call me back because it wasn't an interview. It's I just uh, filled out an application form and dropped it off. Although I feel like that an application form is like a real. It's it's really impersonal. Like you can't really tell what a person is like by asking them to write down their. Well, some of the things on the application form are weird. What are your top three favorite video games? What are your... What were the last three books you read? What are your three favorite sports? Mm. Uh, yeah. Odd questions, to say the least, but... Oh well. I won't complain. But, yeah, I was kind of hoping for an interview, because I'm... I feel like I'm very... I do very well in interviews. Maybe because I... Uh, I act well under pressure. So... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, have some bay shrimp. <laughs> if you are what you eat, then uh, you're gonna need a lot of bay shrimp. <laughs> Alright. Get your foot off there. For all I know, the... The whole video has been flickering this whole time because my foot's up on the dresser. Which is where my equipment is, and if I give it just a little nudge, the sometimes it'll start flickering and uh, screw up the video. But surprisingly, not the audio, which which is kind of odd. Because mostly I find when capturing the audio is more sensitive than the video. Where... If, if something goes even the slightest bit wrong with the audio, uh, everything just kind of screws up because of the sync. It goes out of sync and then the video and the audio don't match and then my commentary can't match because both of those are screwed up, so... Anyways. So, where did I drop off my applications? I dropped them off at a, a store, a computer store called Memory Express. They have two locations in the city, and they're on opposite ends of the city, so I guess they don't, they're trying to, uh, rather than go for quantity, they're going for quality of locations, which, which actually, yeah, it's pretty good locations, e pretty easy to get to, so, <laughs> although, so I went to the first one, and it was really easy to find because I was there before. And, uh, the first one was good, you know, uh, I dropped off the application, I talked to the manager for a bit, I said, yeah, I'm going to be going to courses at the end of February for, uh, IT training, and he said, okay, yeah, well, if we don't call you back within the next week, call, uh, give us a call, and I said, oh yeah, sure, okay, and that was great, and then I had to go to the one on the north end, and because <laughs> in tight and I asked for the man well actually no first I tried to find it I had never been there before and I tried to find it I decided to go into a parking lot and look at my phone bring up Google Maps and find out where the heck it is so I zoomed in on it and I look up and it I ha <laughs> I had just passed the building so uh, a little little short sighted. Well, it didn't have anything on the sides. It only had the one uh, on the front that said the name the name of the building or the name of the store. So, uh, <laughs> I guess I didn't look at that one side. But 
anyways, so I went in there and I said, oh yeah, can I talk to your manager please? And he says, uh, yeah, he's a little busy at the moment. I said, uh, okay, I guess I'll wait. So I was browsing the store for about 10 minutes and I said, okay, whatever, I'm going to another counter. I go to the service counter and I said, yeah, can I talk to your manager please? He says, yeah, sure. Looks over, hey, somebody wants to see you. It's, ah. Uh. <laughs> I was like waiting for 10 minutes for this guy who uh, seemed like he didn't have anything uh, going on. Seemed like he wasn't busy with anything, so. Anyways, I give it to him, I give my resume and my application form to him and he looks at it and says, oh yeah, you don't have a lot of experience in this area, do you? I said, uh, no, I don't really. He said, uh, okay, well, we'll give you a call if we need you, so. Because insight. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then I went and bought my sister a uh, game for her birthday. And you may be thinking, wow, she wants to play a game. She wants to play video games. Yay. No, no, no. It's, uh, I bought her a, uh, was it Just Dance 4? Because she said she wanted a game that me, her, and her boyfriend could play that's got us active, that's got us up, up on our feet, and moving around. So I got it for the PlayStation 3 because her boyfriend has the, the camera, I, I forget what it's called, PlayStation Move camera, maybe? I don't know. But yeah. And while I was at the game store, I said, oh yeah, do you have any uh, positions open? And uh, the the lady behind the counter was very nice, and she said, oh yeah, we got, um, on the west end of the city, there's a store. Uh, they need a lot of positions filled, but if you go to any of the stores and drop off your resume, we hold on to it for six months. Yeah, six months. And we, it's, it's really interesting that they would hold on to it for so long, but I guess apparently, you know, people come and go all the time, right? So, uh, they keep the resumes on hand just in case. So we're almost at 850 power for Nick, and I think that's where I'm going to cut off raising power. 850, eh, well, I feel like after the other major after the Major 4 tournaments and the official cup S class, I feel like it'll be uh, probably up to about 950, but what I don't, what I want is I, uh, or what, rather what I don't want is I don't want his power to hit 999 and then still have a lot of life left to keep raising it and, you know, always get zero for it, so. So yeah, 850 would be a good cutoff point for that. That is Domino. Do not want to send you to that. So, oh yes, the lady behind the counter at the game store. I picked up the game for my sister, and it was labeled incorrectly. Uh, the price tag said $29.99, and turns out it was supposed to be $49.99. So, I was like, oh, oh, jeez. I mean, I had the money for it, but I i guess I got my hopes up that it would be cheaper than it was. Because, you know, it's a newer game. It was released sometime at the end of last year, I think, so... Uh, probably for, like, the holidays. But, uh... Anyway, she says, Oh yeah, I'll just mark it down to thirty-two ninety-nine for you. I was like, what? What? Really? <laughs> really? Oh my god. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's incredible. She gave me like a, that's, I don't know, like uh, 40 percent off. I don't know, but where my math will fail me. Uh, yeah, she gave me a good discount on the game just because there was uh, a a mistake labeling the price. So <laughs> I was I was really happy about that. That was great, but. <clears throat> Anyways, so yeah, yesterday was a good day. Uh, let's see. And then I went and had chili at a nice a, a donut shop of all places. It was it was really good. Uh, you're resting this week. Hmm. Yeah. So. 
Hmm, I should get out more often, but I don't. <laughs> but if I do, then I'll be spending money, and if I'm spending money, I'll run out of money because I have no source of income at the moment. So, yeah, uh, I think I think I'll have to refrain from doing that. <laughs> if I go out, it'll be for a jog or something. Ah. So we have like a 2 liter bottle of 7-Up filled with water. <laughs> and for some reason, saying that, I don't know, I feel like it makes it sound like I emptied out the 7-Up and then filled it with water. But no. Uh, I don't know. I hear that you're supposed to drink 8 cups of water a day, which is 2 liters. But that's crazy. How, how do you manage to drink all that water? If I drank eight cups of water a day, I'd be like going to the bathroom all the time. Even though, I don't know what it is. I... Huh. How do I explain this without sounding too weird? <laughs> I have... Uh, I guess bladder control? I don't know. Like, I can go for hours without needing to go to the... Uh, washroom, so, zoom type. And it's your birthday, Nick! Okay. Uh, stop talking about the toilet and we'll sing a song. Uh, <coughs> We're gonna sing together again. We always sing together. Mm. <sighs> ah, nice cold water. You are the essence of my life. Really. <laughs> you mean everything to me. <laughs> because I'd die without you. <clears throat> Here we go. Happy birthday, happy birthday, N I C K. Keep good health and hold on together. Yay! Maybe I should try singing like a, a celebrity one time. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, how would Ozzy Osbourne sing this? How would Ozzy Osbourne s I know how he would talk it, but I don't know how he would sing it. Because <laughs> his singing voice and talking voice are completely different. This is always mumbling, you know. Ah, I can't do it. Yeah. I could do a Sean Connery singing, but that'd be silly. <laughs> It'd be silly. Silly. Anyways. Uh, let's give you a mint leaf. I don't have mint leaves. You know, I realized, uh, with Nick, <laughs> with Nick, he, uh, um, he's very slim because of all the training and, um, mint leaves and nut soils. So, maybe I should start giving you candies. Yeah, that might be for the best. I don't know, because I don't want you to go up against a monster like, uh, uh, what's, what's the powerhouse monster? in S-Class Tourney. I don't know, Goliath, I guess? Or... Or even... Prometheus? And then get hit by a physical uh, base attack, a power base attack, and then end up falling over one hit KO, you know. Even though you have so much defense. Ah. Okay, so... Oh, Yes. No. Uh, you know what? It's getting to be about 20 minutes into the episode. So far all I've talked about is myself and I. So, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, if you want to tell me what you think is fairly with a comment, you want to show me what you think is fairly with a thumb, or the next matter, subscribe. You can also send me a PM if you have any comments or questions you don't want to leave in the comments below. If you want to add me as a contact, please send me a PM first. I've... <laughs> You know, for the first time in a long time, I I got a contact request, but I look, I looked at it. It was just another music artist. So, I mean, don't get me wrong; it's good publicity for them. But I'm not gonna add a hundred thousand people who, you know, just want me to check out their videos. I want a real. I want it to feel real. I want a real friendship. <laughs> Let's take a look at the 
uh, comments. Uh, which which uh, which video was it? Oh great, I gotta go look at my videos. I can't remember which video was. I can't remember which video was before this. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's take a look at the comments for this one. I guess I might as well uh, make you do a training drill while I'm doing this. Okay, let's see. Uh, I. That's well. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to multitask, but it's not working out too well. Let's see. Uh, no, nope. no questions on that one. Let's see. That's all. Okay, here. Um. Okay. Alright, so. From the Flying Agron. Oh, great name. Hey, Engine. Who was your favorite monster raised so far? Or Mr. the Flying Agron. I'm sorry, Mr. the Flying Agron. I'm. Um. Uh, <laughs> but yes, Mr. The Flying Agron. Hey, Engine. Who is your favorite monster raised so far? My favorite monster raised so far. Hmm. Okay, this is kind of a tough question because I've raised a few monsters so far, three of my own, and uh, everyone after that has been, you know, asked of me. So. Uh, what was who was my favorite monster ray so far? Uh, I guess it would have to be Manny, just because it was Manny was the groundbreaking monster for me. First time beating all the major fours, beating the Legend Cup, and going to the Hall of Fame with a monster. So, uh, for that reason. Manny has a, a real special place in my memory, but also Dark Wolf was also very fun too. I feel like Dark Wolf I had the most fun with, even. Uh, I mean, always using Blizzard. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so, um, no, I I would have to say Manny was my uh favorite monster raised so far, even though it's been a while since I raised her. Um, how long ago was that? Quite a while. But, yeah, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. Uh, uh, <coughs> don't get me wrong. Fox Demon was my strongest monster by far, but my favorite one would have to be Mia ah, Miani. Miani. Manny. Uh, yeah, so, asking it to you guys. Uh, what was your favorite monster you've ever raised? Uh, I know. I always enjoy. Uh, well, I don't know. No, no. That's not the question. The favorite monster you've ever raised. Uh, for whatever reason that you enjoy it. Uh, what? Or why did you enjoy raising that monster? What, what kind of monster was it, of course, but... Yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to ask a question that you want to see me answer. Or hear me answer, I guess. You can't really see me at the moment. And also one that I could ask you guys, of course. So, again, thank you all for watching. Until next time, I will see you all then. Close up on Nick! Why, you have a very strong jawline, don't you? <laughs> it's like... Wow, that is a really strong jawline, isn't it? So, so, so masculine and manly. <laughs>